This is Honeydew, and this is our video demonstration of the product we built. So uh, the first thing we're going to show you is the admin page. So when a new user signs up as an admin, they are first shown with the screen. And currently, we're using Discord for authentication. So uh, a new user has to enter the name of their organization. So for our example, we'll just use uh, football club. Uh, once the new organization is created, you're brought to this landing page, which is currently no data. Uh, we'll go through each of these screens and explain what they do. So the first thing you can do is invite a new member. To do this, I'll invite my friend Akshay. So you can add an email ID and then invite them. And uh, I'm next to Neil over here on my laptop. Um, and I'm going to open my email right now. And I see an email that says uh, football club has invited you to use Honeydew. I'm going to go to me and invite to my email. And as you can see, this is the email that I got. We're using an email client, email service called uh, Postmark, which has an API to send these emails. So I'm going to set up my account and it's going to take me to Honeydew. I'm going to log in with Discord because that's what most uh, organizations that we've spoken to use. And this is the screen I see, then I can continue to Honeydew. So I'm already part of Neil's organization, Football Club. So as you can see, um, basically this is uh, the application from a user's point of view, uh, which in this case would be a student of a club or organization on a campus. See, as he's accepted it, these invite, this invite has now changed to accepted from pending. And I'll show you the flow that takes place when I request uh, Akshay for dues. So the first thing I can do on this page, the payments page is create a new request, select my user, uh, choose the amount that will be charged to him. Uh, this can just be any description, a short description. Yeah. And the, the date by which we, the due by date. Uh, this will use Stripe and uh, send a request to Akshay's profile. And the money will be debited to my Stripe, to the organization's Stripe account. So. When a new organization is created, they can connect their Stripe account by going to settings and connecting it. This gets them started with Stripe. So it asks them for a temporary email. In this case, we are just on a sandbox environment so that no real money is being used. And as you can see, uh, once the Stripe is connected, now it shows me my account ID over here. Uh, so when I do request someone for a payment, they get a request on their screen and this is how it looks. So uh, Neil requested me $100 in dues. You can see that my current balance over here and you can see that it's due by May 30th. On his end, it says May 31st. That was the key entered May 31st but then the UTC time conversion didn't happen correctly, but that's a bug for later. So over here you can go and uh, pay using Stripe. And uh, over here it's a fake credit card that's saved and I'm going to hit pay and it's gonna take me back to Honeydew. So over here, as you can see that uh, the current balance is updated and um, don't owe anything anymore. The uh, admin side now, the status of Akshar's payment has changed from pending to completed. I've also created some other payments with test values just to demonstrate some of the other front end features that we implemented, such as the ability to sort this data. So if there's large quantities of data, you can sort and filter based on the amounts. You can also copy payment IDs and view the, view the, the page of the user. 
Uh, the dashboard has now updated with all of the amounts that I've requested. And this is the amount that has been paid that we showed earlier in the demo. Uh, the last feature that we'd like to demo is the calendar. This is the feature where uh, you can add and share a calendar with the rest of your organization. So once a calendar has been entered over here, all the members are able to view the events that are created on it. And this is stored in the database. So when you come back, the same calendar will always be available to the admin as well as all of the users. This is the landing page, which uh, redirects you to the GitHub. As of now, there's no other uh, information. We try to keep it simple. And this is our code base, which is uh, we described earlier in the presentation.